In this how-to video you will learn how to create an order for a customer, send an invoice or collect a payment with OmniBasis. OmniCommerce is the best e-commerce platform to build and grow your business with no monthly fees. OmniBasis has all you need to power your online e-commerce presence with a full-featured solution enabling anyone to set up and manage an online store, take payments, and manage orders. In this tutorial, we will create a draft order for a customer, send them an invoice, accept an order for a customer, and take a payment with a customer credit card. You can create orders for your customers and send them invoices from the OmniCommerce. The orders that you create on behalf of your customers are in a draft status until you send them. Draft orders are similar to the orders that your customers create for themselves. A draft order is converted to a completed order when you accept payment for it. To create a new order navigate to OmniCommerce. Select Manage Orders, click Orders, click Create from an action menu at the top right corner. A new draft order is created. Go to Configure section to configure basic order details. First select an existing customer. If customer does not exist, click Pick and Clip Plus to create a new customer as you go. Next we will configure some order details. 1. Order ideas generated for you. 2. Order date is set by default to a current date. Feel free to change it. 3. Select billing and shipping address if any. Select an existing billing or shipping address. Address is optional. Select create new address to add a new address as you go. If you are shipping your order, you want to select shipping address. If you do not know customer billing address, not a problem. Customer will have an option to complete it at the checkout. 4. Click Create to create an order. Next we will add products and discounts to the order. Navigate to Items section to select Products, Pricing Rules, Promotion Rules, Apply Credits and Debits. 1. Click Select Product from Action drop down to add a new product to the order. 2. For every product order line item, you can apply specific pricing rule. Click Add Pricing and select desired product pricing rule. If default price for a product setup, it will be used here. 3. For every product order line item, you can add one or more promotions associated with that product. Click Add Promotion and selected desired product promotion rule. 4. To add catalog wide promotion, click Select Promotion and select desired promotion, which is not associated with any specific product. It will be applied to the entire order. 5. Edit any of the fields available on an order line item like quantity amount points percentage and click update. The order totals will be recalculated and updated. 6. If order has a billing cycle associated with it, you can override default billing cycles by entering a new value. In our case, it's one time purchase, no billing cycle updates are needed. Next. We can enter order specific details for our eyes only. Navigate to order details section to put any order details in any format. You can use this section to store order related information in JSON or XML format. We do not have any details to store. Next, we will want to configure shipping details. If the current order requires shipping, then you can choose a preset shipping rate or create a custom rate. Navigate to Shipping section to configure order shipping. Note, this section will be hidden if there is no shipping address. To use a location-based shipping rate, you first need to add a customer and a shipping address to your order. After you've added a customer, you can choose from the shipping rates you've created on your store's shipping settings. 1. Enter weight or package dimensions. 2. If you have shipping rates configured, Click Find to load shipping rates. 3. You can enter shipping method and price manually and click Update. We are done with shipping. Let's take at the Payment Options section. Navigate to Payment section to configure payment options and order notes. If you create a draft order for a customer, 
then you can share a link to the checkout page for the order so that the customer can enter billing information, select a shipping method, and submit payment. After the customer completes the checkout process using the link, the draft order becomes a completed order in the orders list and is automatically marked as paid. You can also take a customer credit card and complete a payment right away. 1. Select Customer Consent If Penny. 2. Enter Purchase Order Number If Any. 3. Customize Customer Notes on the order. You can choose from a predefined template. 4. Customer Order Terms. You can choose from a predefined template. 5. Select Payment Terms. If you want to collect a payment right away, select Payment Method on File and choose Account for a payment. Otherwise, you can send customer an invoice. Select Payment Term that meets your invoicing needs and click Send Invoice. In our case, we are going Set Payment Terms to Payment Method and enter Customer Credit Card Information. Once a payment is complete, you can navigate to Shipping Packages to create a shipping package for this invoice. Details steps are covered in another how-to video. To view or print a customer invoice, navigate to Invoice section. You can preview or print an invoice from here. Next, we will take a quick look at the order transactions. If there are any transactions on your order, like payments or refund, you can navigate to Transactions section. Use Option drop down next to a transaction to see details or refund a payment. Lastly, if you manage inventory for your products, you can see an inventory history change. Navigate to Inventory History section to see an effect this order does on your inventory levels. To track product inventory, make sure you configure inventory levels on your individual products. There are many more features available with OmniCommerce to help you grow your business like tax collection and compliance, shipping management, return management, recurring payment processing. We will cover them in details in other how-to videos. This concludes how to create an order for a customer, send an invoice or collect a payment with OmniBasis. Thank you for watching OmniBasis how-to videos. To keep up to date, subscribe to our channel. If you have more questions visit help.onnybasis.com.